All right. Another day. Another episode. Welcome to Size Eyes. The life of a long-term multitasker. I'm not going to say the episode names anymore because... Or the numbers. Or the names. Because who knows, maybe I'll change it up, so... No need for any... Add a discrepancy there. Oh, great. More background noise on a ramp. <clears throat> Again, coming back from work here. Take the left, take the left. Alright, good, good. Alright, so, back from work. Um, today, I guess I'll say the date, just to, so people have context. If anyone, if anyone is listening, if... Ability. All right, so today is what? Today's Thursday, August 13th, 2020. Yes, I've spoken for a minute and said nothing. Cool. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think this one I was going to... did some journaling a couple, a couple nights ago. Um, thank you to all the avid listeners. All one of you. Or two? One and a half. Um, yeah, it's, I think I'm going to do this one on, uh, intentions. Yeah. I was thinking about it a couple of nights ago. I was thinking of actually doing it the day after I recorded episode three. Um, but I just, I think I was running late for work or something. Um, to get around to it, but, anywho. Um, I think in, intentions might be a good deep dive topic. Um, you know, I, I think I talked a little bit about intentions when I was first starting, like, what, what are the intentions for this thing, whatever, whatever you want to call this, this monologue, this, this self-podcast, this quiet time with my thoughts. Um, like, what are my intentions with this? And, I mean, I kept saying that, you know, like, this is not for... It's not for anyone, this is not for anyone, this is for me, like, I don't, I don't give a shit about, like, this is not for entertainment, right, this, but, I don't know, I, I feel, um, some, some warmth, I don't know, I'm trying to find the right word, but, some type of positive feeling when someone, from the feedback that I've gotten mostly is, I was like, oh yeah, this is like, kind of nice, it's kind of cool. It's like having conversation. And then when there's other feedback, I'm tr trying to incorporate as well, like, you know, making it shorter, or not doing it while driving, uh, LOL. Um, oh, whoops. But, I don't know, I think that so like that feeling it was, it's similar to social media right because I don't I can say I don't do it for other people but I think I would be lying if it wasn't like you know some part of it and but like is it bad is it bad if I I think it's bad if I say that it's 0% and then it's when it's actually not. So I think it's fine if like, you know, if it's 10, 15, 20, 25% of it is for the, not the validation. Uh, I don't know, I think, I think, I think in my mind it's maybe it's like, yeah, 5% validation needs whatever. But I think the rest is like kinda productive for myself, hopefully, and then hope maybe even for other people. So like receiving whatever positive feedback is like, oh, I guess I'll keep doing what I'm doing and adding a little sprinkle here and there of other constructive feedback.
So, I mean, and then there's the other aspect of, I can only, I only have so much time to share the details that I want to with friends every day or every however so often. And so I guess this is a way of like people of getting inside my mind and seeing what's up with me and what am I what I'm thinking, not just what I'm doing. You know, hearing my voice, you know, whether it's a con whether it's like a conversation like people have said. So maybe it's to a you'll get to a point where people won't even talk to me because they're like, yeah, I already hear your voice enough. If they ever talk, if they ever listen to this. Um, so I mean I guess that's like that's part of it the intention as well I don't think that was an intention coming in but I think it's over the short couple weeks of this I think it's kind of involved into that which I don't mind you know giving more insight into the way I think I mean that was the original intent right it's like document uh, why am I taking it right here there's no turn on but um it's like documenting everything and giving a um insight into into my mind right so that was the original intent um and then I guess the other thing about intentions damn I'm way over this line other thing about intentions is That you know that uh, that Jay Shetty always says, or like he does his like meditation in the morning. Oh, some Indians on the right over here. Um, his meditation in the morning about like seeds and weeds. Like, is this is this a seed or we? I tried looking into it, but I'm not sure what exactly that that practice is. So I'll have to. I can. Ooh, I can text him that actually. He does put his number online. It's probably not his real number, but you know his team or something. But. I can text him like, "Hey, what is what is that meditation entail?" Yeah, all right. Add that to my to-do list. I'm gonna text Jay Shetty tonight. Um. Yeah, and so, but so like that seeds and weeds meditation. What does that entail? So I thought, you know, in addition to in the morning when I first do. What is it? That. Um, three best thing three worst things and like try to improve it from the diamond cutter that thing so I do it I do the intention I try doing the intention one immediately after that it's like while my eyes are closed so it's like going into having my journals right in front of me and reading what those tasks and things I'm gonna do for the day are so it's just like a couple of few weeks to go to maybe last week doing those things envisioning no not envisioning doing them I was thinking about those tasks and why I was doing them so if it's like if it's a certain task at work if it's you know creating this social media post or if it's um, doing inventory or um, you know, writing this proposal, whatever it is, like, the intention. But, like, I think that all the intentions are, like, positive there. So I wasn't, like, gaining anything out of it. So I'm like, okay. So then when I take business out of it, right, like, all the intentions for business are, I would assume, like, if I'm reaching out to a charity, like, you know, there's good intentions there to do some sort of silent auction, right? That's That's good intentions. Or even the mundane stuff. There's good intentions there, writing emails. It's like, of, you know, the intention of keeping communication, I guess. And so, I was like, okay, maybe, if, what about personal stuff? So, you know, going through my, my sprint backlog, as it were. And, and going through all of those. You know. I was like, the end, yeah, the intention is to be more organized, um, whatever that task is, so I need a one on my, one intent, one intention that I, one thing on my product backlog that I added was, you know, purging, purging my Twitter, so many, I didn't know I had so many tweets, I had like 1,200 tweets, I need to get rid of them, 
you know, in case, in case someone wants to go looking, go snooping around once I'm, once I'm famous, <laughs> right? Um, and then, you know, another one is like creating a YouTube workout playlist of, of videos that I use to, to work out. I'm, I'm not leading any workouts, FYI. So, but I mean, you know, I might create a playlist of like all the videos that I like. Easy, e easy, uh, easy, medium, hard, you know, intent, dead workout list, playlist on my channel, right? So I might do that, or that's on my product backlog, I just haven't done it. But what was the intention behind that? You know, it's like, it's for, it's for me, it's a good intention to, to organize the way I work out so that I can find videos quicker and stuff like that. But then that's like the surface level intention, right? There's, then there's like the deeper level intention that I was struggling to get at when I was trying to meditate. And so this one, so, so then I thought about it. I was like, intentions are, I mean, kind of going back to habits, right? It's like intentions are why you do things, right? So when you do things, you don't necessarily think about why you do them unless you practice it a lot, unless it is a habit, right? Right? So intentions almost become a habit. And how do habits form? It's through un, it's through conscious awareness, which then become unconscious that we're doing them, right? So then, why was I trying to approach intentions as something I was trying to do in the alpha state of, in a like meditative state? So then I came to the realization that everything that I do, I just need to be aware while I'm awake, while I'm doing them what the intention is behind it. And so like if I'm if I'm working out, the intention is, is is one of my goals of, of being healthy, right? One of my affirmations. Um, eating healthy, you know, it's another, you know, I guess going eating eating food. Eating healthy food, you know, I guess going also going into healthy, but um, but then I guess, like when I eat out, that is a bad intention, right? Because I'm, I'm not following my, so what I came to the conclusion was that it was a, it was long, long term, uh, it's, it's it's a long-term view of like benefit, benefits versus rewards, rewards, long long-term versus short-term, right? Because when I eat food, it's a short-term benefit. When I eat out, it's a short-term benefit. The long-term benefit is the goal, is the affirmation, right? And when the intention doesn't align with that long-term goal then it's like a negative intention, basically. And so it's just realizing that everything that I do is not for right now, but for the future. It's for the future me. It's setting myself up to be the best that I can be. You know, every day in every way I become better and better. You know, that, that mantra. Um, and so just viewing everything as that long-term goal has this really, and then when I don't, when my actions aren't aligned with those intentions, with those long-term intentions, then I write them down in my, you know, three worst things that I did for the day and reflect on them. 
and try to fix them. So yesterday I was really fat. <laughs> oh my God, yeah, Jesus. I went out to, it's like I knew everything was a you know perfect day last couple days and then yesterday coming back from work, I was like, haha, joked about it, about eating out or something. I don't know why. And then I came back home. I was like, man, it didn't work out because it was like raining, first of all. Then came back. And then it was just, I took a nap. I took a nap for like an hour, hour and a half. So I was really tired. I'm like, okay, that's fine. I don't think that's a bad intention because I'm like, I'm resting. All right, but then, so then I was like, all right, I'll, normally I would just make my, it was like eight, eight o'clock. I normally make my protein smoothie and like eat a fruit, call it a day. And then, but for whatever reason, as I was lying in the bed, I'm like, ooh, you know what sounds really good? Like a veggie burger from somewhere I haven't tried before. So then I looked up this Habit Burger Grill, and then apparently when I get there, like 10 minutes, you know, you know I tried ordering from a couple of places, and then I put in the wrong address, I don't know, all this random, long story. <laughs> and then... I get to the place 10 minutes later and then the, the, there was a storm, right? So I don't, the, the restaurant is closed because the power went out at that and the, the neighboring Taco Bell actually. So I wasn't able to get any of that. So then I look up more places to eat outside. I could have just gone home at that point and been like, man, that's a sign from the universe to, for me to go home and just eat, be healthy. But no, I persevered. I ate out and you know, continued that, that negative intention, not aligning my actions with my, my affirmations, with my goals, with my long-term intentions. And so, so then I, you know, I wrote that down in my three worst things, like corrected them and, uh, and, and motivated. And, and I, you know, was, am motivated today to, so I work out this morning and then, you know, work out, you know, driving to the park right now, as long as it doesn't rain. Oh, things looking fine here. But, you know, that was, trying to correct those on a, on a really small basis, really small iterations, quick iterations, I should say. Small intervals, quick iterations. Um, so yeah. Yeah, that's what I that's what I found out that I need to and then like when I do those those long term when my actions align with those long term intentions I feel really good about it at, you know at the end of the day it's like man I did everything that I accomplished or I accomplished everything that I set out to do and it feels really good because everything that I did made me you know, one step closer to my goal of whatever that goal is, you know, ultimately a better person. And so I was able to, you know, I'm able to review that on a daily basis. So, you know, so now coming back to that meditation, instead of trying to find the intention of of the why I'm doing certain activities like you know the marketing activities that I do or you know the workouts or anything like that instead of pick in the meditation doing the why I th think about the why consciously or I try to while I'm doing the activities and to a certain point I know that the activity has a good intention behind it. Right, if I'm working out, I don't need to think about the why because I, I already know that I've done it, it's a habit, that it's for my personal growth. And so I've used that meditation time of setting the intentions to really picture my day to visualize my day, you know, do the visualization meditation in the evening, 
but this one that's for the long actual long term like affirmations this morning one like the first thing right after the three words things thing and so I just picture the how my day is gonna go so like after yesterday I was like really motivated to like all right th that shit's not gonna happen today I'm going to you know I pictured myself working out um, you know, getting ready going to work being productive doing all the things that I wanted to do you know, that was on my list today so not necessarily the why behind all those because I already know the intention I know the intentions are good of doing those tasks because I've thought about it while I'm awake not something that I've meditated on and so I'm picturing completing those tasks and I did that the, the two days prior to yesterday and I basically like I had a perfect day minus like a few things that I wrote down but in terms of productivity I think like I was I was well I was I did as well as I could could have because I envisioned how my day was gonna go because I had those right intentions already thought of before I did that and I just had to do them I just had to picture them and when I picture them beforehand during at the, on the beginning of the day at the beginning of the day I just it's just more likely that it's going to happen right so you know that's what I I started in the last few days obviously yesterday was hopefully an anomaly but I think you know today I'm driving to the, the park right now and you know I envisioned working out brought my clothes with me to work um, the workout clothes so all ready to go you can do meditation you know, shower meditation eat healthy right after that and then maybe knock a couple of things out off of my product backlog um, you know and then that that'll be a successful day because I envisioned it with with the right intentions or I envisioned it and the right intentions were already built into it into that framework so yeah I mean I don't know how I don't think I explained that very well but it makes sense in my mind so oh yeah I guess the, the other part of the intentions coming back to, to this is that want to be a better communicator for whatever I'm doing and so so this inher this uh, inherently is, is doing that hopefully or at least with a lot of practice become a better, better storyteller better narr narrator beta ax okay stop um, Yeah, so communication is another intention behind why I'm doing this. So there's a lot of intentions. So I guess I was wrong, misleading, when I first said that my intentions are solely to document. It is one of them, but I can't say it's the only one right now. What that proportions are, I'm not sure. So I think that's just something that, that will evolve. And so, I'm excited to see where this goes, but yeah. I think the intentions are pure. But yeah, anyways, this is, uh, this is going a little long. So, all right, uh, thanks, for, thanks for tuning in to Size Eyes, the life of a long-term multitasker. I'll see ya when I see ya.